Hi all, my name is Janet. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing an 80 minute full body Pilates workout with a bit of cardio at the start just to raise that heart rate. Each exercise will take about 20 seconds. If you need to take a rest, obviously within that 20 seconds, feel free to do so and choose your modifications. If you do enjoy the workout, please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. All right, peeps, we're gonna start in the standing position, legs about shoulder width apart, starting to breathe in, reach up, exhale out, come down, inhale, rise, exhale, drop it down. Just starting to warm up through that body, reaching above the head, squatting nice and low, and then reaching the hands towards the ground. Legs stay straight, roll it up. We're gonna start to lunge side to side, Right knee bends, left leg bends, reaching that opposite hand down towards the ankle. Go as low as your knees will allow you to, as you're just still warming up. You don't have to go too deeply right now. Go, we're gonna stay in the middle, leg squatting, reaching up, come down, reach up, come up on your tippy toes if you can. We're just taking the arms above the head to start to raise your heart rate a little bit. Feel free to not come up on your toes if you don't like that for your calves. Good, we're gonna lean to the right. Right knee bends, left leg comes in and out. Arms coming in when the leg comes in. Feel free to keep the hands onto the hips though if you don't wanna move the arms and legs together or feeling a little bit uncoordinated. We're gonna return back into a middle, into a narrow squat position. Feet a little bit closer. Come up on your tippy toes, push the arms back. Level twos, we're gonna start to jump a little. If you'd like a little bit more impact, of course, if your knees don't like to jump, you stay with the step before and just quickly rise up and down. Turning to the left, left leg bends, right knee in and out. Arms reaching inwards and outwards. Again, keep the arms down onto the hips and just focus in on the legs if you don't wanna move them at the same time. Great, we're coming back to face into the middle. After this, squat and one knee up, squat then the other knee, level two is your squat and kicking. Kicking that leg nice and straight in front of you. If you can reach that leg all the way up to hip level, go for it. Nice and low into the legs now as it's starting to warm up. Good, lean into the right again. Left leg comes into a lunge position. Both legs at 90 degree angle, dropping that back knee as low as your knees will allow you to go. Good, we're gonna stay down into a pulse. Hold here, nice and low to the floor. Two centimeters up, two centimeters down. Just starting to get that little burn through the legs. Almost done, if you can go a little bit lower, go for it. We're gonna come back into the middle, give the legs a bit of rest, come into arms straight, hugging the tree. Arms in and out. Careful not to move that chest forward and back too much. Pull your belly button into the spine. Keep, keep that body from rocking. Arms stay wide. And then we're lifting it up above the head. Dropping the hands only down to shoulder high. Don't go too low as it starts to rest for too long. And we want to keep that activation on your arms. We're going to turn to the left now. Going lunges with the right leg behind us. Heel up, knee dropping down to the mat. Straight up and straight down. Body stays upright just like an elevator. Holding that knee down to the floor, we're pulsing it up, two centimeters up, two centimeters down. I'm gonna give your legs a little bit of rest after this. We're going back into the arms for a little bit longer to get your shoulders and tone through your arm. Good, facing forward, arms into L shape or go post. 
flipping the hands forward and up to the roof. So horizontal and then lift up. Keep your elbows nice and high to shoulder. We're gonna keep the arms like this for a bit. Holding the goalpost and then bringing the elbows in and out, like closing a window and opening a window. We're gonna bring a slightly more rotation through the shoulders after this. So hold the arms into L. We're gonna flip the hands all the way down. Point the finger down to the floor, up to the roof, down to the floor, up to the roof. Elbows stay high to shoulder as always. Arms are straight. We're going to go over and under, two invisible circles at the end of your arms. So the palms face down and then face up. Make sure the whole arm is moving, not just through the wrists. Maybe a bit of burn is coming into the shoulders and arms now, which is quite normal. Hold the hands and do circles forward and back. Fingertips extended. All right, 10 more seconds here. We're gonna reverse the circling. Good, start to reverse the circle the other way. Arms still stay high. Careful not to rock the body, especially as the arms start to get a little bit more sore now. I'll give you a rest very soon. We've only got two more little things to do here. Palms facing to me, we're going to pulse the arms above the shoulders into shoulder line, nice and quick. Like you're flapping them a little bit. All right, after five more seconds, we are just going to hold the arm stationary. Good, hold arms higher than your shoulder if possible. Holding it still. Stretch is coming after. You got it. Keep breathing it through. Nice, release. Take that right arm across the chest. Give your shoulders a little bit pull out. Swap it over to the other side. All right, we're heading to the floor. We're gonna go do a four point kneel or tabletop position. Hands underneath the shoulders, knees a little bit apart underneath the hips, tummy muscles drawn in. Your right leg is gonna start to extend and come down. My level ones, just stick with the legs today. Level twos, we're gonna bring the opposite arm up and down together into pointer and down. Good. Holding the arms and legs out nice and straight, we're going to tap the toes and hand to the ground and lift up. If you're just doing the legs today, you're just moving the leg up and down. But otherwise, opposite arm and leg lifting together, lowering down. We're going to hold the pointer after this. Good. Hold still. Right leg bends in, toes flex in towards the shins, coming into donkey kicks. Squeezing your right glute. To lift up. Try not to let the knee come low too far to the ground. Nice. All right, we're going to drop that left arm. Right leg extends out to the side and to diagonal point, and then we lift it up and down. Start to work into your hip flexors a little bit. Try to keep majority of the weight in the middle of the body rather than leaning on that bent elbow and leg. Holding the leg up in the air, circles forwards and back. This is your last bit before we do a stretch here. Almost 10 more seconds to go. Keep light in the shoulders. You don't want to overuse the shoulders too much. back, feet together, knees apart into your child's pose, especially shake out the wrists if you feel like you're using a bit too much. I'm just turning to the other side so you can see, but you can stay facing the same way. And we're going to start with your left leg now, lifting up and down. 
Good, same as before, we're just repeating it. Remember level two is your opposite right arm is pointing as your leg lifts. What you did on one side, just repeat it on the other. Stay with the pointer, arms and legs extended, dropping the leg down, arm down and up together. Pull your belly button right into the spine so you do not over flex your lower back. Great all, we're going to start to hold the pointer. Left leg bends in, toes flex, just the leg lifting upwards and downwards into your donkey kick. Isolating that left foot. Yeah. All right, we're going to drop that right arm, left leg extends, tap it to the ground on the diagonal and lift it straight up into the air. Your belly in. Again, try not to lean into the opposite right side too much. Holding that leg up into the air for me and we're going to start to do circles forward and back. Stretch is coming right after this. Great, and pull back, have a stretch. Feet together, knees apart, into that child's pose. We're about to flip it over after this onto our backs to do some bridge work and then core, and then you're almost there. All the way down. Feet bent, hands beside you, start to lift up into your bridge. Squeeze your glutes on the way up. Go level two, so you can take the arms off the ground so you don't borrow that tension in the arms. Level threes, heels lift off the ground and keep your heels up the whole time now if possible. Holding that hip up, right leg up into the air, drop it down, lift it up. So that right leg is straight. We're bringing it down in line with the other knee and then lifting it to the roof while our left leg holds your hip up off the ground. All right, swapping over to the other side, dropping that right leg down. Left leg lifts up, same thing. You'll notice when one leg lifts off the ground, your bum tends to drop and you might use the hamstring too much, which is the back of the thigh. Try to squeeze your bum a little bit harder to keep it off the ground. Good, drop that other leg down. So both feet on the ground again. We're lifting the hips up, halfway down. Hands at any time, you can drop to the floor if you need to. Squeeze the glutes. Always still keep your belly drawn in. We're gonna keep the hips up off the ground there. Stay with your bridge. Now opening up the knee wide and then bring it in parallel. I always think of this like a little bit of a clapping motion, but your knees actually don't touch in the middle. So they flick out and come in. Great, and just hold the bridge. Aim for a diagonal line. Hip into a diagonal line to the knees. Stay up if possible. We've only got about five seconds to go before we release. Nice, and drop it down. Hands beside you, legs into tabletop. One leg extending to 45 degrees, and then alternating to the other one. Breathe out each time the leg extends. We're coming into that core sequence. Try to keep your lower back now flat into the ground. Good, so we're like scooping one leg down to the floor, lift up to the roof, come back down, and back into tabletop. Out, in, out, in, alternating through the legs. Good, legs together, and then one leg goes out, head and shoulders now come up, reaching to the side, level ones, pop the hands behind the neck for a bit more support. Level twos, arms stay beside you. Nice. 
All right, we're gonna do that with double legs now. Same as before, except two legs are coming out together. Head and shoulders still come up the ground if you want to. Again, hands go behind the head for a bit of support if your neck is starting to strain, or just leave your head and shoulders on the ground. Great. Hands go behind the head, legs out straight. We're gonna crisscross them, going up a little bit and down a little bit. So lower to the ground, the harder your abs will work, that deep core. Great job. All right, last little bit. Take the legs out straight, arms beside you. Next leveling, take the arms next to the ear. This is your last 10 seconds before we stretch. Almost done. Pull your belly button. You've got this. And release. Good job. Hands out nice and wide, crossing that left leg over the right and dropping the knees to the right, head to the other direction. This is your lower back stretch. Pull it out from all that lower back activation that you might have done with your core work. Swap it to the other side. Right leg crosses the left. Head always looking away from the knees to get your full spine twist here. Hopefully you felt that little bit of burn coming through each part of the body that you worked out. A well-deserved stretch here. Elongate your muscles out. Right leg into the air. Straighten it and pull it in gently towards you. Bending that leg, hooking it over to the other thigh. This is your figure four. Hands go behind your left leg to pull it in if you want a deeper stretch. Nice, swapping over, left leg into the air, straighten it first and gently pull it towards you for your hamstrings. Hooking that foot to figure four, hug your right knee in. Good, release it out, rolling it over to the hands and knees. Tuck your toes into your pike position. Pedal out the feet, one heel up, one heel down. Any sort of lactic acid that you might still have in your legs, you're gonna just stretch it. And then bend the knees, chest come down. We're gonna just pull out the shoulders, try to drop your head below the arms. Take your time, move the hands towards the feet. Hang there, arms go behind the thighs, push the chest away. Stretch out your upper back and your hamstrings again. Roll it up, head will be the last part to come up, shoulders come back, open up the arms, lift the chin, and clap, you're done. You made it to the end of the class. Thanks so much for hanging in there and doing the whole entire workout with me. Now, if you've enjoyed yourself, please, please, please give me a thumbs up as I would really appreciate your support for this small channel to grow and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.